there's many more things I could talk about. Some of you folks have asked about solar out on, the, out on Hartwell and our schools. Uh, one of the first things we did in Sustainable Lexington was we said we need to figure out how to get more efficient, uh, we need to have more cleaner energy in town. And so we put solar on our schools, we put solar out on the Hartwell Avenue. Those two projects right now are generating 45% of our electricity demand for the town, the municipal electricity demand. And this year, $600,000 in new revenue for the town. So every year those panels are making $600,000 for us. The other side of things, and that's for the municipal side, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the, so what Zori likes, it's always it's going to ask me to talk about, is it turns out we said, well, that's the electricity for the town. It's not a small amount compared to what we're all using. And you may, um, you may recall or may have heard that um, we said, how are we going to find a way to get 100% renewable electricity for all, of, all the residents in town? And it turns out that there's a law that was passed at the state level in 1997. At the time, about 12 communities in the state had taken advantage of it. And the law said, you as a municipality are allowed to go and aggregate, they call it a municipal aggregation agreement. Basically, it's pooling the demand of all the residents in town together, taking all of our 100 million kilowatt hours, going out to bid, and saying, we'd like to get a lower price than each one of us could get if we went out and asked a supplier on our own. We were able to do that again because we have you know, uh, experts in our back pocket, it turns out, this guy named Paul Chernick, some of you may know, turns out is a nationally recognized expert on how to do utility rate settings. What the, the bottom line is that we came in with a lower price for our electricity and we were able to buy 100% renewable electricity at the same time. For the last two years of that program, we saved Lexington residents, every one of you in this room, $3 million in electricity. We got 100% renewable electricity. So this is the kind of thing that people say is impossible, but if you start to say, we're, we're blessed in Lexington, when people start to think about these things together and put their heads together, we can come up with solutions that get us where we want to be. It turns out, remember I said there was only 12 communities in the state that had done this at the time? A lot of people said, how did you do this in Lexington? We've been rolling this out across the state. There's now 120 communities in, Lex in the state that are doing this. Mm -hmm. So they're saying, let's figure out how to follow Lexington. We're not just changing Lexington, we're changing the state. Yeah. So anyway, thank you. <laughs>